Over the past 20 years, the majority of virtual environments have been designed with the controlled isolation of the different sensory inputs, such as sight, sound, and smell. Photorealism, in particular, has commanded the greatest amount of attention in the design of realistic virtual environments. What we set out to investigate in our research, however, was how these different sensory inputs affect one another. At the University of Southern California's Institute for Creative Technologies, we are developing a series of virtual environments for training, art, and education that utilize multiple sensory inputs to heighten the feeling of presence in the virtual worlds. Our Sensory Environments Evaluation Project, or C, looks at how to maximize the relationships between sensory inputs by considering their effects during the initial design process. Our prototype environment for this design approach is DarkCon, a scenario in which the participant is asked to make his or her way through an unfamiliar hostile environment at night without being discovered. While there, the participant is also tasked with making a number of observations whose accuracy will be the gauge by which their success or failure is measured. C currently employs real-time delivery hardware capable of textured graphics, spatialized sounds, infrasound, and low-level haptics, and is in development of a proprietary scent delivery technology. For the design process, we describe the environment in terms of sensory inputs and filter according to scenario parameters, expected degree of emotional response, and available technology. A number of these elements, such as ambient sounds, smells, secondary objects, and detailed textures, might seem incidental, but provide what we call corroborative detail. Their inclusion is essential toward providing believability. These elements are then woven into the story, compressing the scenario down to its essential events. Such interactive narrative is challenged by the participant's free will within the virtual space. He or she can go anywhere and do anything. To ensure a meaningful experience where specific goals are met while still providing this sense of free will, C utilizes a number of techniques we collectively term coercive narrative. We construct psychological and sensory cues that seem native to the scenario, but which persuade the participant to take the desired course of action. These include sounds, sights, and smells that attract or deter the participant's movement. We also create a corresponding emotional score using low-level frequencies designed to make the experience persistently engaging. This score helps guide the participant's emotional states within the scene. The evaluation component of the C project will correlate pre and post experience questionnaire information with real time participant data retrieved from physiological monitors. Our studies will help us determine the most effective sensory components necessary to create a high degree of presence and the effect that that presence will have on the potential uses of virtual reality.